What's up all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on the Nike LeBron 17. The official retail launch coincides with the date of this video, and I've gotten to try them out early. And while doing so, I noticed a bunch of hidden details, so we'll be going over those today. Not only will we look at those, but we'll also go over the cushioning setup for LeBron's 17th signature model, and I'll give you the one big downside to this sneaker. Stay locked into this video for all that. Hit the thumbs up button now and comment down below at any point when you find something interesting. This is Topic Tackle. Let's go. Let's start with a little history lesson into the cushioning setup of the LeBron line. In many ways, Nike is advertising the LeBron 17 with nostalgia. They published an entire article on the cushioning setup of every signature model of LeBron's line, going back to the Nike Air Zoom generation. And for sneakerheads, this is a dope feature to see how the line has evolved over the years. With each LeBron model, Nike has emphasized the technology, so let's go over the tech specs of the LeBron 17. Directly from Nike's article, the LeBron 17 has the highest volume heel max air unit in a LeBron shoe, and designer Jason Petrie, who's been designing LeBron signature models since the LeBron 7, said that the volume of air in the 17 was the next solution in providing the stabilization and support he needs. Continuing with cushioning, the shoe has two independent air zoom pods under the forefoot, and what I noticed when trying the shoe on was the seamless transition from the heel max air unit to the forefoot zoom bags. This is all made possible by the rubber outsole that, instead of being sectioned off between units, actually continues. This type of transition one-ups the LeBron 16 that did not have this feature. Moving to the upper, the 17 introduces Knit Posit, an upgrade from Battleknit 2.0 on the 16. Knit Posit combines lightweight fly knit construction with heat molded yarns that add structure and color. The result is durable, supportive, and resist stretching. The first three colorways of the LeBron 17 are Future Air, which dropped on sneakers on September 19th and sold out in under two minutes, In the Arena, which released at retail October 3rd, and Lakers, which releases at retail October 10th. Now today I want to talk about the hidden details on the In the Arena colorway, which has significant meaning behind it. First off, if you missed the insole, you missed the message. Literally. All right, LeBron has frequently written man in the arena on his shoes, and this is inspired by one of his favorite quotes by Teddy Roosevelt. In summary, it's not the critic who counts. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena. I can see why this quote speaks to LeBron, as he's been someone who's had to perform in the face of immense criticism his entire career. Some of the criticism has been fair, but a lot of it, <coughs> Skip Bayless, hasn't. Signature LeBron details have also shifted to the tongue on the left shoe with I'm King, LJ, Vitruvian Man by Leonardo da Vinci, because why not, it's sick. Number 23, LeBron James spelled out and the LJ crown logo, and the right shoe with the Lion logo. Number 23, LeBron spelled out, Dunk Man logo, LJ 23 classic logo, the 6 spelled out, and the Nike logo. With all this said, there is one big downside to the LeBron 17. Due to all the tech advancements, the retail price was raised to $200. This might not be a problem for those of us who are willing to pay it because, well, we're sneakerheads that have a problem. But for those who are just looking for a performance hoop shoe, I tell them to not even look the LeBron 17's way. For $50 less, you can cop the KD12, which includes full-length React and Zoom cushioning and Flywire built within the upper for lockdown. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is the Nike LeBron 17 a cop or drop? Remember, subscribe, like, leave your feedback, comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle coming soon. JC3, out!